now we're on the final Psycho movie. I'm not doing Psycho 1998. That that movie can go fuck itself for all I care. But Psycho for the beginning. I just named it Psycho Four because. But Psycho Four um, tells the backstory of Norman Bates. Well, Norman now has a wife and their expected child. And he wants to kill his wife because he doesn't want the child to turn out to be like him. But he talk, calls into the talk show, like, um, uh, what the hell is his name that does the talk show shit, but um, he explains the backstory of him and how his mother um, wanted to have sexual intentions with him. And um, his, his stepfather, the guy that she was fucking was a real asshole, and he, that's where the whole part comes in to why he killed them, well, killed her, he slipped poison into their drinks, and that's why you get the whole thing in Psycho 2, where it shows, um, the whole door opening and poisoning his mother, and I think that ties in really well, because, People might have thought that Norman might have killed her normal way, which is matricide, I think, where you kill your mother. But he poisoned her, which, yeah, killing your mother, matricide. He killed his mother by poisoning her, which, in my opinion, I think she fucking deserved it. But you shouldn't kill your mother. You should report it to the police. But she was a, um, I would say, pedophile. Because she tried raping her own... Well, she tried having sex with her own son, which is fucked up. And... Yeah. But... In the end, they fucking got it. They they deserved it, in my opinion. But I wouldn't do that. I would just go to the police. Killing is never really the answer when it comes to situations. But... Yeah. Psycho 4. And at the very end, they he burns down the house. And... get the final, um quote of the mother talking saying I will I will not um be, be this will not be the end of me but Psycho 4 is a decent film as well not a lot of people liked it because it was not really as the first two or the third one but yep that's about it see ya